pai é sempre meu ídolo maior. My father has always been my greatest idol. He was a footballer and because of him I started to like the game. Because I'd go training with him when he played and fell in love with the sport. And he's a guy who understands a lot. The guy who inspires me. A footballing prodigy who made his professional debut at the age of 17, Neymar Jr. has become one of the most famous athletes in the world. Now 26, he's already played for some of the game's greatest teams and won some of the biggest prizes in world football. At the last World Cup in Brazil, he carried the expectations of his entire nation. The Seleção's talisman scored four goals in the group stage before suffering an injury in the quarterfinals, which ruled him out of the rest of the competition as the host crashed out with a 7-1 loss to Germany. In the World Cup, when I got injured, I think up until now, that's the greatest hurdle I've overcome. Because of everything, I was living the dream, an amazing moment in my career, and out of nothing, it's gone, you know? It was a very difficult moment. Despite his heartbreak, Neymar would soon have another chance to win a global competition on home soil. In the final of the 2016 Olympics, Brazil again met Germany. And in the penalty shootout, Neymar stepped up with the chance to secure goal. I think that walk is harder than actually taking the penalty. Because when you walk up and look at the goal, it looks far away. It looks small and the goalkeeper looks big. So a lot of stuff goes through your head. But when you pick up the ball and put it on the spot, then you feel more relaxed because you've trained for that moment. So you have to be prepared and the precision needs to be phenomenal. Phenomenal. Gold medal in hand, the forward returned to FC Barcelona. But it was to be his last season with the Spanish Giants, as in August 2017, he agreed a record 222 million euro transfer to French club PSG. Neymar continued to showcase his skills for his new side, scoring 28 goals in his first 30 appearances. However, his season was cut short in February, as he suffered a broken metatarsal, meaning he had to watch from the sidelines as his teammates lifted a quadruple of domestic trophies. Three months of rehabilitation nearly complete, he looks set to be fit for Brazil's kickoff. We'll be hoping he can light up Russia and inspire Brazil to a sixth World Cup title.